How's it going guys? I'm Bert Howell. I'm one of the owners of Vicious Auto Works. In this video, Tommy Moore and I are going to demonstrate how this body rotisserie works. Now mounted on the rotisserie, we have a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu. We're going to do a full restoration on this car. So we took it all the way down to just the body, took the body off the frame, and we mounted it on this rotisserie. This body rotisserie is made by Weaver Equipment. It's got a 2,500 pound capacity. It's got a crank handle here, gear driven, and it can actually rotate the car. This rotisserie is fully adjustable. It has a three ton long ram jack on each side. You can adjust the width, the height, the height here, so you can get the rotisserie centered with the body of the vehicle. Now when setting it up for the rotisserie, you want to take the doors off and actually install these door bars. They're adjustable and they can go to the factory mounts right here on the striker, right here on the hinge. Now since this car is a convertible and it doesn't have the support of the roof, we actually took some steel tubing and we cut it to length and we tack welded in all the corners and then in the center here. Um, that gives it the support it needs and if it didn't have that, this car would fold like it's laundry day. All right, guys, I have Tommy Moore here. He's going to demonstrate how the rotisserie works. I don't get too intimidated by all the creaking and cracking of the car. Got plenty of support. A lot of what you hear could be old coins, dirt, couple screws that you forgot in the car, leaves, pine needles, rocks, all that's going to come out. Now you can get nice access to the floors, do all your repairs as you need. Right there we're going to order a rear floor pan and we're going to replace that section. I'm going to re-undercoat the whole underside of the car. There it goes, guys. Now, you don't need a rotisserie to do this, but it's just a much cleaner job if you have a rotisserie to do a repair like this. Um, like I said, we're going to order this section, and we're just going to replace the rear floor pan. It's going to involve drilling out these spot welds on this brace. And then back here, the same thing. And then up here where the rocker panel is, um, we're going to cut that out, separate it, and weld in a new panel. Now when that's all done, we'll be able to clean up the whole underside of the car. And we're actually going to re-undercoat everything, and it'll be a nice finish. You'll also discover spots like this that you won't be able to see as easy if the car is not upside down. So we'll be able to do all these repairs on the inner structure as well. Now on the other side, we have access once again to that rear floor pan. Um, you can see the damage it does have. Um, it's not good. This car won't be worth a lot if we leave that or scab in a piece. So we're gonna replace the whole floor pan for a clean professional look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, how to's and episodes from our series, Vicious Auto Works, Please click subscribe and like our page on Facebook at Vicious Auto Works LLC. Again, thank you. I'm Britt Howell, one of the owners of Vicious Auto Works. I'm out.